What's up everybody, Denver Gamer back, and we are doing another Wii Hacks video. Today we're going to be doing Wii 2600, that is an Atari 2600 emulator for the Wii. In the next four videos we'll also be doing Vectrex, Commodore 64, as well as the ColecoVision. So let's get into it guys, this is going to be really easy. Open up the link in the description and it will take you to this page. This is the Wii 2600 page from Wii Brew here, love their logo. And there's a download link there to the right. But let's go ahead and scroll through the page and see what we've got. We've got the overview as well as information about how to install it. Like I said, this is very easy to install. You've done stuff like this before if you've watched my other videos. Get information on different regions of cartridges uh, that it will be emulating as well as all these controls here. And that's what's really nice about Webrew. They have all of these mapped out for you down here a couple screenshots as well as the change log so let's go ahead and scroll back up to the top here and click on the download link and that'll go ahead and download and open that up I use WinRAR it's one of my uh, favorite uh, unzipping programs you'll see the apps folder and then where you're gonna keep your ROMs go ahead and extract both of those to your SD card to the root of your SD card but we'll go ahead and cancel out. I've already done that. So I'm going to open up my SD card. And you can see here I have the Wii 2600 um, folder as well as in the apps here. I'll take you to the Wii 2600 um, emulator itself. All the program files to run it as well as some images. Uh, and this one was really weird. I found a Chuck E. Cheese image in here. thought that was just kind of weird. That I've never seen that in the emulator. So that's hidden in there somewhere. But uh, we'll go back out here. On the root of your SD card, under Wii 2600, this is where you have your ROMs, save states, and screenshots. And in this folder here where it says ROMs, you will put your ROMs. So I already have my ROMs in there, and we'll be playing those. Uh, one more thing, guys. Go ahead and go over to this uh, link in the description, and this will have a really good channel forwarder for your Wii. Uh, it's the best forwarder I've found for the Wii 2600 emulator. And that's really it. So let's jump over to the Wii and play some ROMs. Now remember guys, you can access the emulator through the homebrew channel or you can uh, install the channel forwarder like I have. I like having the channel forwarders. I think it looks really sleek, looks good. And check out that music. All right, let's start this up. So this is a very simplified emulator. It's an older emulator that was ported to the Wii. Um, it'll take a little bit of getting used to, but um, you can get an entire Atari ROM set, put it on there. It takes up very little space, and it's cool. It's really a throwback to the games some of, some of us older guys grew up with. So look at that. Look at all these uh, games, which take up basically no space nowadays. I mean, you can just go through. Now, some of them, i got to tell you, aren't too fun anymore, but let's uh, pick one here just so I can show you. Mm. Man, I don't even... Okay, well, why is it Europe? Huh, i got a lot of Europe ROMs. Um, of course, they're backups of my Europe cartridges. Um... See a missile command. Yeah, we'll go missile command. And there you have it. Now, I can't remember which button does what here. Let's figure this out. There we go. Oh, got a menu screen here. It's been a while since I played with the Atari uh, Wii 2600 emulator. It's exit out of that. Oh, there we go. There we go. And there you have it. We're playing Missile Command. Check that out. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate every one of you that um, watches my channel. And I'm actually giving away a modded Wii this month, uh, Halloween 2018 and um, some other prizes. I do giveaways every month, so watch for those. And again, 
I appreciate uh, the subscriptions and, and everybody watching. And sorry it took so long to get another Wii Hacks video up. But there are more coming. So I will catch you guys next time.